Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we had a great question on one of our videos. Uh, they were asking, they wanted to put a full width image in and when they hover over it, they wanted to have some text. But they wanted it to be responsive and they wanted the image to keep its aspect ratio on all devices, you know, desktop, tablet, and mobile. And it sounds pretty simple. Making hover effects is no problem at all with image backgrounds. But if you want to keep the aspect ratio of the actual image the same, <laughs> it's a little fiddly, but it's possible. So I've attempted to do it here and I think it works out pretty well. So here we go. As you can see, we've got a full width image. When I hover over it, you've got some text that pops up. And if I go down to tablet mode, you can see the image remains at the same aspect. And if I go down to mobile, same again, you've still got the image showing the correct aspect. We can hover over and get our little text going there. Like I say, it looks very easy to do, but it is a little fiddly. So let's get it done. What I'm going to do, so I'll put this back on desktop mode. Like I say, I'm in the visual builder here. I'll get rid of this and we'll start from scratch. Okay, so let's add a new row. And they want a full width image. So make, let's make this row full width before we do anything else. So let's just go into the row, little cog there. Go into sizing, slide this up to 100%. I'm gonna copy the 100%, control C paste it in the max width just below control V or you can type it in doesn't matter we've now got a full width row which is just exactly what I want and inside there we need to add our image let's go down to images there we go select our image there, so. great so I've got a full width image right there and it's showing all of the image, which is fine. And we want to keep that aspect ratio. So I'm happy with the image. Let's roll down and let's add a call to action or whatever you want to add. You can add any module you like to this. As you can see, it's down below here. Now what we need to do is scoot this up. So it's in kind of in the middle of here. To do that, we can either use margin and use a negative value or transform, translate. Let's use transform. I'm going to go design tab down to transform. Second one is translate. And what I want to do is uncheck this. I want to scoot it up till it's somewhere in the middle of where we want. And that's not going far enough. So you can just type a value in here if you want to. 300 perhaps a little high say 520 yeah that's roughly where I want it obviously you put yours where you want okay now what I've got to do is add a bit of padding top and bottom and we may we'll probably have to adjust this afterwards purely because if we want this to fade in at the moment, if they hover over, they're going to have to come all the way down here before it will fade in. If we add padding, so it's almost the size of our image, as soon as they hover over the image, it should fade in. So let's add some padding and readjust. Still on the design tab, we'll roll up to spacing. Let's give it, gosh, probably 250 top and bottom. Let's try that. That looks okay. While we're in here, I'm gonna take the opacity of that background down so we can see what's behind it. So back to content, background, click on the color, bring this slider down a little bit. So I wanna be able to see our image a little bit. We'll adjust this in a moment. Great, so it's almost a similar size. I might wanna give it just a tad more padding with the spacing. 
say 260 and then we'll we'll use the translate to get it back up in the middle again let's try that we'll go down to transform second one is translate 520 I reckon I need another hundred possibly 150 so let's say we'll try 650 still a little low but we're getting there scoot it up another 20 so let's make that 670 that's good I've got a little gap top and bottom I'm not too worried about that all that means is they'll have to go this far onto the image before it pops up that's acceptable to me great so that's fine but that's only going to work on desktop if we now flip it to tablet it's going to be all over the place probably yeah it's too high up so what we've got to do now is adjust it for responsive devices so let's go firstly and make it a similar sort of size to our image again by taking some of that padding away and I'm guessing we've got to lose about a hundred possibly 200 pixels so let's go back up to our spacing again hover over get your responsive up this little mobile phone here we're now on tablet um, let's try a hundred and see how we get on well I can't see because it's way up there so let's go down to our transform and again make sure we hit our little responsive there go on to translate and <laughs> let's bring it down well let's try just putting negative 300 in there and see where it is that's not too bad okay it needs to go up by what 50 pixels or something that's pretty good but we got a, I don't want the overspill there because that means it'll hover in before they actually get on the image that's not too bad there but let's adjust it a little bit like I say it's a bit of a fiddle but it's worth doing on tablet so I want to take away not that much let's make this 80 pixels perhaps that's fine and we'll just scoot it down a little bit with our transform again make sure we're on the translate and so let's try take away about 20 so we'll make that 30 okay that's in there fantastic okay let's move on to phone okay we need to scoot it down just a little bit almost 100 picks so let's try let's try minus 220 there that's pretty much in the middle now we've got to take some padding away and readjust just like we did on the other ones let's go into our spacing make sure we're on phone and I probably only want about 20 picks here still a bit too tall and let's scoot it down by about 50 picks make sure we're on translate let's try just 200 and see how that works a little bit too much that's pretty much bang on you may decide you want to disable this on mobile or change the text size you can do the same thing by just going in there hit the little brush it'll take you to whatever text size and you can change the font size if you think it's too big for for a mobile by the same thing just click on the responsive there and you can change it on phone and what have you so let's check what we've got there that's okay that's okay we could just add a little bit more padding but I'm not too worried about that obviously if you want to spend a bit more time on it you can do and that's okay we've just got a tiny gap at the bottom and top that's going to work for me okay let's go back in 
and I'm just going to change this background you could get rid of it if you wanted to but I can't really see that text too well over the image so let's put a black background in and I'll click on it and I'll bring the opacity down just so we can read that writing well and see, still see the image something like that now we've got to make it disappear and only appear when we hover over this very easy let's go to our design tab go down to our filters and I'm going to go to opacity and we'll hover over the legending like, like any other module and little icons will appear we'll grab the arrow now when we're not hovering over it desktop state I want it to be invisible when we are hovering over it I want it to be totally visible default time is 300 milliseconds with Divi if you want to up that a bit for drama just go down the transitions you can do that right here but I'll leave that just like that that should work for us now so let's save that let's go back to desktop mode as you can see it's not there when we hover over it it'll pop in aspect image is fine aspect ratio of the image is fine let's check it on tablet yep that works absolutely fine and check it on mobile that works fine too and in each case the aspect ratio of that image is remaining the same like I say it's a bit of a fiddle but you can achieve it if anybody's got a better way of doing it please let me know the only thing I would mention is check it check it on devices check it on an actual iPad or tablet and check it also on a cell phone if it's live obviously you can do that because you might find that you'll have to retweak it because it may look great here but not all phones are exactly the same we can get pretty close here of course if you take your text size down a bit you'll be a bit better but if I demonstrate that if let's say this draft I can do that with the inspector exit the visual builder now I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools so there's our desktop version hovers fine if I hit F12 to bring out the inspector tools I've already got it on the responsive mode let's put it on iPad and that works fine too because a lot of people don't use hover effects on phones for sure but that's in the center of our iPad let's try it on an iPhone I suspect this may be slightly out iPhone X yeah as you can see with that you're gonna to have to tweak it a little bit I take that text down in size probably or even decide perhaps to not show so much here and the great thing about Divi is you can choose to show and hide, hide modules on, on mobile so you could create a completely different layer and have that work on the mobile if you wanted to so there we have it there's how to keep your aspect ratio on an image and have a hover effect not as straightforward as it sounds but I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope uh, that's answered your question once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.